Hello, friends. It's Bob again. We are still talking about this whole idea of forgiveness and forgiving, the power of it, and how the Spirit prompts us to know that we need to forgive thus and such a person. Now, I want to conclude this little bit of a series by saying that that one of the ways that I think that the Lord wants us to routinize this is by simply praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive those, uh, our debtors, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Now, each time I pray that, and for me, I've coached myself over the years into praying this every time I get behind the wheel of a car by myself, is I, I pray it aloud. I pray these words, and I pray the themes of this more than I just pray this, although if I'm in a, in a short drive, then I'll just pray the prayer in the simple words that it is. But I get to that clause, Father, forgive me. That reminds me that I need to confess my sins. What sins do I need to confess so that I can experience your forgiveness, Lord? And two, and most importantly here, Lord, who do I need to forgive? And I need your help to forgive them uh, because your forgiveness and my forgiveness for them are kind of intrinsically tied with you. That's the way that the Lord Jesus actually finishes the prayers. He says, for if you forgive uh, those who, you, who sin against you, your heavenly Father will forgive you. If you don't forgive them, your heavenly Father won't forgive you you. I didn't make this up. Jesus said this. This is so important to God because God knows that forgiveness is really a big part of the key to your and my walking in freedom and our relationships walking in freedom as well. So we forgive. We pray that prayer and when and we give the Lord a chance. Lord, who do I need to forgive as I pray that? And because it's pre-wired in my whole in my whole world. And again, Jesus gave us this prayer. You should be praying this prayer. You should know this prayer by heart. This isn't something you should just pray randomly every once in a while when we pray it at church. This is your prayer. This is the prayer that Jesus said, pray. And if Jesus is giving us a prayer to pray, it means that these are themes that really matter to God and that set the world right in our hearts. So we pray that prayer. And in the prayer, lo and behold, there's forgiveness. And as we pray it, and we are slowing down and asking the Lord, the Lord will show you. He'll show you because he wants you free. He won't, she won't show you because he wants to beat you up, but because he wants you free from the binds of bitterness and resentment and unforgiveness. Pray the prayer. Listen to the Lord. Forgive from the heart. Thanks so much for joining me. God bless you.